Are you able to articulate your feelings accurately as a result of clear observations of the situation during communication? We have established in the video up there that clear observation is the first step of non-violent communication. This will help you to make clear requests during communication. Hi people, I am Emma of Mark Inspirations, a place where you uncover knowledge for growth. In this video, I will share light on how much needful it is for one to fully express his or her own feelings in order to communicate as effectively as possible and be able to make requests clearly when communicating. If you are ready, let's get started. People, it is key to learn and practice how to communicate effectively and do so as much as possible using the nonviolent communication way to establish bridges or links for identifying feelings and needs and make clear requests. To make clear requests, there are four activities one should go through. Let's go through them. One, express your feelings clearly. To achieve this, we can begin by expressing our feelings truthfully and clearly. But to be honest with you, expressing our feelings straightforwardly or candidly and clearly can be challenging or sometimes awkward because we are hardly required to analyze our true emotions or feelings. And that is where the problem lies. The best way to express ourselves is by being specific, especially because language itself, no matter what language one speaks, can be unclear at times. We often use the verb feel without communicating our feelings or how we feel. Using a common expression like, I feel down, is vague. It fails to convey our exact emotions or emotional state. However, taking the time to find the correct language will help us describe our situation more clearly. Again, saying, I feel a bit low. Use sharper adjectives and clarify the reason why you feel that way. Are you feeling depressed? Feeling grateful? Feeling betrayed? Feeling regretful or what? Feeling down alone does not give us exactly how you feel. Say exactly how your emotions feel. The emotions that are running through your system at the time. Say it clearly at that time. Two, practice. To be able to practice the use of such adjectives, your emotions is to start practicing. So even where you do not have issues, you start practicing how you would express a particular adjective. This is done by expanding your vocabulary. You will need to read more. A broad scope of words will offer you a large range of emotions from which you can express your feelings at all times. If you are limited in vocabulary, 
definitely your ability to express your feelings will be limited. Three, be specific and give a little narrative. This problem of vagueness also applies to the pronouns we use. Making the statement, for instance, I feel like everybody is ignoring me. This is vague. This doesn't address the specifics. Who and who are ignoring you? How have you been ignored? How many times have you been ignored? To avoid this confusion, people, relate your experience to real people and place. Okay, last week, I asked my colleagues for an advice and they didn't respond. You can specifically mention a name. Last week, I asked my colleague so-and-so to give me advice and she didn't respond. The same thing happened when my daughter or my friend at the shop today didn't respond when I asked for help. This made me feel unappreciated. Try to give narratives of events and state the way you feel as they occur. It gives a clearer understanding by the other person listening to you and helps in effective communication as you are expressing your feelings. Four, tactful expression of your vulnerability. Finally, people, you will need to learn how to express your vulnerability or helplessness. Overlooking your true feelings can create unwanted tension amongst colleagues, friends, and family. Certain professional quotes even discourages the expression of vulnerability as a sign of weakness. Including this, professionals such as lawyers, engineers, medical people, and the military, however, get away with this. Whatever the situation may be, people, instead of bottling up, hiding your feelings, build up tension around you, I will propose that you use the non-violent communication approach to build bridges, establish links of communication, observe, identify your needs and feelings and make clear requests. People, I believe you found value in this video. So please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell on the side so that you can receive notification for the videos that will be uploaded next. Also, let me hear from you in the comment section. Tell me how this video has helped you and how you will free your emotions, you will free your feelings in communication situations in order not to bottle up your feelings and make clear requests. See you in the next video. Bye.